We know that it's hard to stay up to date on USIP's latest publications, so we've challenged our teams to summarize their latest research in less than a minute. This is Briefly. In Myanmar's Karen State, investors tied to Chinese criminal networks are building megacities to capitalize on China's multi-billion dollar gambling habit. But how could this be possible? if gambling is illegal in both Myanmar and China. Jason Tower and I decided to find out. Here's what we discovered. These investors have created systems to evade law enforcement using untraceable blockchain payments under the protection of Myanmar's military and ethnic militias who control parts of Karen state. These investors court government political and business elites in Myanmar and China and the region to create the illusion of legitimacy and association with China's Belt and Road Initiative. The result is a gambling industry that feeds Myanmar's militarized economy, creating lawless enclaves under armed control. After decades of US aid to Myanmar's democracy forces and civil society, it may be these gambling cities that pose the gravest risk to a peaceful democratic future in Myanmar. <laughs>